It's E-A-H Lover here and today I am going to be doing a new challenge that I made up. Also, I'm so sorry for not uploading for a while. Um, yeah, I'm a really bad YouTuber. I'm really sorry about that. I've had a lot of finals for school and stuff, but I promise over the summer I'm going to upload so many more videos to make up for this. Anyway, so today I am going to be starting a new challenge. This is the Dollar Tree Doll Challenge. And pretty much what it is, is that you have to make a doll room using things from Dollar Tree. And I've always noticed Dollar Tree has so many cute little, like, things for, like, doll rooms. And I thought, why not make a whole doll room using things from Dollar Tree? Um, the only thing that's not from Dollar Tree are, like, this poster board. But you could get it from Dollar Tree, so that's why I'm counting it in the video. So I just came back from Dollar Tree and I got a few things. Um, there are more things I already had at home that are from Dollar Tree, so I will be using it in the video even though I didn't get today, but I already had it, so it, and it was from the Dollar Tree, so it's not cheating. So I'm gonna be making a room for my Project MC Square Dolls. I think I'll make it for Ember since I really like her, or Devin. I think I'm gonna make it for Devin, so yeah. So the things I have for the room are a white poster board, but this is not from Dollar Tree, but you can get them at Dollar Tree, so yeah. I got this wrapping paper, and it's a really pretty pattern, and I really like it, and you know, it's like one of those like more plain wrapping paper patterns that says say happy birthday or merry Christmas or whatever. And then I have these little stickers. These are little letter stickers, so they can spell out like somebody's name or whatever, and well, <laughs> And it comes with a lot of them, and I think these would be really cute. Next, for like a cute rug, are these little skins. And pretty much, they're like these little fuzzy sticker things. I've gotten these before. This is what they look like. Um, there's like a sticker on the back so you can stick it to the, like, the floor. And yeah, it's really cute, and it comes with two of them. And last thing I actually got today was this little magic towel, and these would be such a cute little blanket for the doll. Um, it's a, so pretty much what you do is you put it in water and it expands and grows into a little blanket. And they had so many different like patterns. I got Dory and Destiny from Finding Dory. And yeah, they had Spider-Man, they had like other cartoon characters and stuff and it was pretty cute but i got this one because i thought it was so adorable and that's the things i didn't get from dollar tree today but are from dollar tree are oh, oh my gosh yes okay some holographic sheets i actually saw these today but i already had them so i didn't get more but yeah and they're these little holographic sheets and these are so cute i might use them for like the floor or whatever they have different colored holographic sheets and then this little plant this is actually from another doll room that i stole but yeah it's just a little plant i did get it at dollar tree a little while ago well actually a while ago like when i made my um wonderland room um this is what i used this little plant from the dollar tree i'm also going to be using these little drawers i got these from the 99 cent store but i have seen these at the dollar at dollar tree too so yeah i'm gonna say dollar store because i mean this is from Dollar Tree, pretty much. It's from 99 cent store, but they're the same thing. Okay, this is another thing. Again, it's not from Dollar Tree, it's from Daiso. But it's another Japanese dollar store. So, yeah. Um, you guys might not be familiar with Daiso because it's only in, like, three states. In the United States and in Japan. So, yeah. But it's a cute Japanese dollar store, and I got this little doll-sized chair there. It's really cute, but it is from a dollar store because it is because it was a dollar and fifty. Everything there's a dollar fifty, so I'm gonna count it in this video. So I'm kind of maybe stretching it a little bit, but these are things that are like from dollar stores. So yeah. Anyways, let's just get started in the video and let's see what I make out of all of this stuff from dollar stores. Here's just a little overview of what I'm working with. Okay, so let's actually get started. So the first part is going to be this. So I'm going to be using my My Froggy Stuff tutorial for this part, so I'm a little bit worried because I'm not as good as My Froggy Stuff. So yeah, but I think you fold the poster board in half. And then what you do is you like have it like this, and then you make sure it's good for the dolls. So I don't know, it might not be. Okay, just good enough. Oh wait, the other side. Or maybe I should fold it the other way. Do I want a big room? Oh wait, no, it won't be this big originally. Okay. And then I think you take your scissors and you go ahead and cut 
it down the middle like this. So you like go like you cut the poster board down the middle. Like this. So that way you can fold oh my gosh, it's actually working. Fold it over like this. I didn't I didn't epically fail my book. Well I should like fix it a little bit because that looks not that good. But I did it. I did something right. Yay! <laughs> and yeah, yay. Okay, here it is. So this is the basic doll room. So now it's time to build on top of this. So using the wrapping paper, um, I think I might use it for the walls, oh, but I don't know if I'll use it for the floor or the walls, but I guess I'll have to decide in a minute. I'm going to use the holographic sheets and this wrapping paper for the walls and the floor. So I'm not really sure which is going to be which, so I'm going to kind of compare them and see how they look. Okay, so I got out a couple sheets of blue hollow, and... Like, I could probably cut them out. I think there's, like, one more page in there. But, yeah, like, something like this. And then, like, have it like this. I think that would be better because I don't know if I have enough holographic sheets to cover the whole thing. And then, um, for the letters, um, these, for them to work, like, it will blend in the background. So, I'm going to use more of these. So beautiful. Okay, yeah. I could use more of these little holographic sheets to, um, like in the background of that. Like you'll see later. So now I'm gonna glue and cut this all together. All right, guys. So this is how the room looks right now, and I think it really goes with Devin. Like I think she looks really nice next to the room. So I have the blue holographic um sheets for the floor, and then I have this whole thing. So now this is the hardest part. So now that the hardest part is over, now it's time to do the fun part, which is decorating. So I want to figure out where I'm going to put this rug, and then I need to figure out something for a bed. Um, yeah, but pretty much I might like put it like right here, or actually I'm going to put this thing, this little blue compartment right here, and then I think I might put like a bed right here, so I think the rug would go nice right there. So the bed is right there. I, I don't know if I'll use the plant or not. I might. Um, then I could add in the little chair. What would look hard? Look at that. <laughs> okay, no, but I could just retouch that. Oopsies. Didn't mean to break it. Okay. Well, not, it's not broken. It's just ugh, broke apart. Okay, we're having technical difficulties. Okay, yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, the chair could go right here and yeah so i think that's a good setup i just need to figure out how i'm gonna make the bed oh wait i'm doing theft right here i am stealing kirstie trollson's bed so if you remember from a while ago i made kirstie trollson a room and yeah i don't really know what i'm gonna do for a bed so i'm stealing hers so yeah anyways if i have the bed right here see it's meant to be if it's so the rug could still show up, and then, yeah, I think this is a good room. What do you think, Devin? Good enough. Okay, yeah. And then I will decorate with little things. Like, I could put little shelves up, maybe, and then I have these little toys that maybe she collects or whatever. So, yeah, and then I'm going to decorate the bed and all that stuff. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and decorate Devin's bed by going ahead and adding in this little towel and making the little magic towel for her blanket so yeah so i'm kind of excited about that so here's the little paper and then here is it's literally a block so i'm going to go ahead and fill a container with water and show you the magic okay so fill this up all the way and now it's time for the magic drop in the towel and slowly watch it form it goes little bubbles Water. And look at that, it's already starting to become bigger. This is so magical. Wait, I should probably stay away from water from my iPad. Okay, yeah, but look at that. The magic is happening. 
Okay guys, so here is the towel and it's so cute. So it has Destiny and Dory and this is Pipe Pals and that's what they call it. That's what they were in the movie. So now I'm gonna put it on the bed. I'm gonna go back to my roots and I'm gonna make a duct tape pillow. I haven't made one of those in a long time. So another thing, I forgot which, oh yeah, I think I got this from the 99 cent store is this holographic duct tape. So I'm going to be using some of this for um, a duct tape pillow. And I made this all the time for my dog rooms because they were super easy to make. So pretty much all you need is some duct tape and well, a, a tissue. Okay, so this is one of her pillows. She really likes hollow. And yeah, I'll make some more for her. So yeah. I'm sorry, Kirsty, but here's another thing stolen from your room. It's this little pillow I made out of a sock. I know, I was one creative thing. Okay. So I think that looks really cute like that. She's cool. She's going to have a cool emoji pillow. So there is her bed, and I think that looks super adorable, especially with a giant whale on her blanket. So yeah. Okay, so now it's time for the rug. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I want the rug here, and I'm going to peel off the little sticky sticker. So finally, I got the rug to cooperate, and now it's right there. So now I just need to reset the bed up, put the pillow, put the sock pillow, and put the hollow pillow. I'm going to put Devin in there right now just to see how it looks so far. <gasps> she looks so cute in the room. And then add in her little chair. And then lastly, add in her little hole drawers she didn't really oh wait i have some cool ideas of what she could do for her accessories okay so she loves art so i have this little pink palette and these little mini colored pencils that she could put right there um okay this is not from dollar tree um the rest of these little decorations aren't from dollar tree like maybe a little yeah one of these little guys hold on okay where are the rest of those things? Yes, these little twosies I got a while ago. That'd be kind of cute to display on her shelf like that. Okay, so it's almost done, but I want to use these adorable little stickers, um, little letter stickers that are really cute, and I can spell out her name, which is Devin. So I think it comes with, yeah, it comes with two sheets, but luckily she only has one of each letter, and not one of each letter. Like, there's like a bunch of A's. Well, yeah, so, yeah. So I'm going to take more of these holographic sheets, except this time I think I will take um, pink. Okay, here we go. So here's a pink one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spell her name and then cut it out on this. So here it is. I think it looks really cute, so I think I'll put it like up here. Okay, so there's her little name, and I think the room is pretty much just about done. So I have succeeded the challenge, the doll, doll tree room challenge. And I really like how this doll room turned out. I think it is super cute, and I love it for Devin. One of my favorite things is definitely the blanket. It's just <laughs> so adorable, and I'm really in love with it. And I just love the wallpaper. I think that looks really nice. And I could probably add in like more little pictures and stuff. And yeah. Anyways, guys, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in another one. Bye!